Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome to Giant Susquehannock. That really is an amazingly large Susquehannock. It's a mighty fine Susquehannock you have there. Mmm. Mmm. And they're right up there on tech as well, so kudos to them. We're currently 12 years ahead on military tech, so I'm just going to kind of sit on that. But now that we're at peace, not only did we, re not only did we enact the next reform, which gave us uh, another 15% national tax, which is nice. Gotta like that. But we're also able to sell our lands to our colony over here. So pleased to be giving diplomat. There we go. Sell the lands, please. Sell the lands. Sell the lands. He'll convert them to reformed. But he'll also pay us for them. Look at this. He's going to pay us 120 ducats for a piece of shit land in the New World. I don't care about it. I make almost nothing off of it. So he might as well make some cash on it. And he can have a bigger army now. Marriages. Sure, whatever. Why not? We're going to annex France somewhat soon here. But before we do that, let me sell this. Can I have a diplomat, please? Germany left the coalition against us. Oh, well, that's nice of you. Italy's still in the damn coalition, but I think they're the only ones in it, so... Might as well. Hey, we converted the Western Isles. Nice. Who's next? Uh, Quoth. Okay. Sure, why not? More marriages. Sure, why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marriages, marriages, marriages. King Jacob. Man, you go, King Jacob. Oh, man. Willem. I mean, the, these these guys we've had lately are just... Eh, I mean, they're not bad. They're not bad. They're not terrible. They're just not amazing, you know? You feel me? You feel me? Because I feel me. Any good missions out there? Protect our brethren in Bohemia. Really? You want me to go attack Bohemia? It's because Bohemia is reformed. Oh man, that would be amazing. Just go in there, beat them up, make them convert to reformed. Hmm. I'm not sure that's necessary, but it's certainly a, a possibility now that there's a mission for it. Colonize Guyana, create a fleet. Eh, I don't really want to create a fleet. Oh my god, we have two... We're spending two focus points. Not focus, we're spending two policies on this. And we're still many, many years ahead on military. And it's got to be just because our king has six points. Yeah. Uh, our next king has four points, so we're still going to be ahead. Not so much, but still. Uh, can we keep spending points, man? Please? More, more points? Oh, Cape Colony. Yeah, well, Cape Colony. Bingo. Uh, level threes. Do I need level threes? I mean, there's no reason not to, other than they cost money. They cost cash money. Put level 3s down here. Because this is where we have the revolt risk. You know what? Just fucking put them everywhere. There you go. Yeah, don't you feel better now? I feel better now. It is always Miller time in Shen's app. No, it's not. I fucking hate Miller. What are you talking about? I'm not a big fan of the beers. I like some beers. Oh my god, you finally found Mauritius. And you didn't die. Hey, kudos. Kudos for not dying. Let's go find Diego Garcia. It's over here somewhere. Go on. Find Diego Garcia. Go on, then. You know what we're going to do? We're going to... Do I have the range for those islands? I think I do. Let me check to make sure. Yeah, of course we do. Alright, we're going to hop out of there. And we're going to go over to one of these, base 5. They're both base 5, so we'll go for this one, I guess. Go on. There you go. We'll get both of them eventually, but we'll start off with that one. Because there's no natives there, really, so I'm not going to worry about it. Where the fuck is Diego Garcia? Is it over there? It might be over there. I can never tell where it is. Is it up there? Central Ocean... Chagos Archipelago. That's where it is, I think. I think it's in the Chagos Archipelago. I think it's up there. Slavonia needs help against Hungary. Hungary declared war on Slavonia, and Germany joined against Hungary. Slavonia is still Germany's bitch. Yeah, so Hungary has declared war on Germany. Hungary's only ally is Sweden. Really? Why are you not allied to the Cumans anymore? You're still Tengri. He's married to the Cumans, but they're not allies anymore. Interesting. I mean, yeah, I got an army over there. Do I need to ship over more dudes, or, or what? 
Hungary, you are... You got 13 guys, and your tech is garbage. And you're Eastern. All right, well, I have a shitty general. I will beat you up. Excellent. Did we sell this land, or did I forget to? I forgot to. God damn it, I'm stupid. How do you forget shit, Shen? I don't know. How do you not forget shit? I don't know. Yeah, well, that's my problem. Oh, I can vassalize these guys. Neat. We might do that then. We might just go vassalize those guys. But, first and foremost, we should probably be annexing Francy Pants. And I think we can. So we'll annex France as soon as this war is over. And then we'll peacefully vassalize Apulia and annex him as well. So can I steal a diplomat? Yeah, come back from Castile. Fuck Castile. Castile's the wrong religion. They're fucking Shia. Am I the war leader? No, Germany's the war leader. So I'm now allied with Germany in a war. Lol. Unexpected and weird. Sweden's in the war, but that shouldn't matter. Does Sweden have a navy? No. We have a huge navy up there. Uh, we got 17 heavies and 51 lights just patrolling this area. So if Sweden wants to come, let them come. That's what she said. But I'm not the war leader, so I don't really give a shit about this stuff. Uh, does he have any empire lands? No. Are there any cores to spit out? No. There's no nations in here. That's the problem. There's just no nations. If Nyetra joined the war, or Austria, or any of these guys, none of these guys joined the war, so there's no claims that can be had. And Slavonia, as a personal union bitch under Germany, will not make any claims at all. I really wish vassals and personal union bitches would make claims, but they don't. Alright, so I'm going to go siege his capital and peace out. I don't need to be in this war. Stupid, stupid war. How's our little explorer, man? You guys finding anything? No? How about you find that shit? There it is. Did you find it? He did find Diego Garcia. Yay! You found a thing! Come on back. Go dock up. I found a thing, Mommy! Mommy! Oh shit, we have 100 points. Is that the max? Is that the max points, or it's not telling me what the max is? Is it? No? It does not tell me the max, so I'll just assume that's the max. We'll go for trade. I like money. Money's good. It's good. I'm just gonna see just capital down. I'm not gonna bother. Yes, he might have had claims and stuff before the PU. But, uh, that PU's been going for a hundred years. So, yeah. Oh shit, our projection is super low. Who the fuck's our rivals right now? Italy and Byzantium. Are we embargoing them? Yes, we are. Okay, well... I can't declare war on Italy because he's in the coalition, so I would have to declare on Byzantium, but I really don't want to. I have no need to declare on Byzantium. Although it would get Augsburg into the war, which I kind of want. And Corinthia as well. I wonder if we could force convert both of those guys. That'd be amusing. Yeah, in fact, uh, I think I'm going to be doing that. I think I'm going to declare on Byzantium. Not because I want land over here, but simply because I want to get into war with Augsburg and Corinthia and force convert them to reformed. I don't think I can do Corinthia, though. What is that? 14... Uh, 20, 27 base tax. Fuck me. I don't think I can do that. It's 27 base tax. Shit. Well, we'll see, I guess. We'll give it a shot. Alright, you're all docked up and safe. Put you on the healthy boat. No, that's the wrong boat. And let's roll. Go to... Maybe the Enemans? Go to the Enemans. Wait a minute. You got you you can't be serious. You're not gonna take that route. That route has attrition on it. Take the route that doesn't have attrition, you dumbass. You mean you don't want attrition? I don't understand. Yeah, I don't want attrition. Is that really so complicated? 
The only attrition we're going to get is length of C, or length at C, which is fine. Oh, right, relations with Apulia. New governor in Sad Flanders. They want a replacement. Take a military guy. How goes the colonies? Pretty well. They both are river estuaries, which is weird. There's so many river estuaries in the New World. It doesn't make any sense, but it's the way it is. Peasants' War in Poland. Ah! So he won his war against Germany. I mean, he won his war against Russia, but now he has a peasants' war. And what the fuck? Croatian nationalists over there. Cheaper military tech. Okay, I guess. I can't really tech up for a while, but okay. Susquehannock annexed another nation. Just like gobble gobble, you're dead. Susquehannock, you need to go on a fucking diet, dude. You are just massive. Actually, how big of an army does he have? He has... Uh, only 17,000 guys, really? On a, on a nation that big, how can you only have 17 guys? Uh, I don't get it. But, okay. Alright, there we go. Uh, I don't think I need to siege anything else, so I'm just going to go home. Probably let our vassals siege a little bit, and that should be it. Yeah. Who's almost done? Nobody, really. 172 in France. Uh, we can do better than that. Yeah, come home from Corinthia at the end of the month. And let's peace out. Okay, so white peace does not get rid of Defender of the Faith. And that's great. We get to keep our Defender of the Faith. I like that. The reason I didn't stay in that war is we weren't the war leader. If we were the war leader, I would have loved to stay in it, but we're not. 705 Diplo to annex France. Okay. And how far are we going to get? We're going to get another 26 points here, which is not enough. We'll be at 158. We need seven more points before we can annex him. Guarantees don't do anything. Um, you can't give him access. We could defend him from rebels, but he doesn't have any rebels. So it's just going to be waiting a few years, I think. There's no way we can get around that. Okay. wonder if these guys are going to beat up Castile. Hopefully, yes. They are allies, so hopefully they'll beat up Castile. Castile has no allies. There's no defender of the Sunni faith. Sell the second island. Oh, good, good fucking point. Thank you. I'm a dum-dum. What the hell? Oh. I tried to recall someone else's... I tried to recall someone else's colonist. Doesn't work too good. Big surprise. Oh, I can't sell it to him because he's not done coring this. Wait, what? Why isn't that a core? What? I sold a province that had my core on it to my colony, and he doesn't have a core? What? Is this something new in 1.7? Holy shit, let me ask in Twitch chat really quick. Does anyone know? That's a new bug? Of course it's the same culture. It's Dutch. Yeah, when you sell things to another nation, if you have a core on it, it's supposed to just give them a core. Oh, God. So we're going to have to wait for him to finish coring that. And that really sucks, because that could dramatically slow down our ability to colonize. 
Oh well. We still have a colonist en route over here in Marusha. It's going to take some time to get there. I've never seen that problem before. No, no, a different colonial region doesn't matter. We've we've been selling lands to him uh, ever since... Let me show you the regions. Colonial regions. Ever since we colonized anything outside of colonial Eastern America, we've been selling all of that to him. And he's been getting instant cores on them. All of them. Like we sold him Pamlico, we sold him Bermuda, we sold him this island. Everything we've been selling him out here, we sold him Kespec. And he gets instant cores on all of them. So, I don't know why he didn't get an instant core on Seminole. Religion in Bavaria is... Protestant. Mergentilism. Good. I love mergentilism. How much do we have, anyway? 20. Alright, we can do more than that. The Tulip Mania! Hey! The Tulip was introduced in Europe in the 1550s from the Ottoman Empire. They quickly became popular among rich mer merchants in the Netherlands as a, as a luxury item. The market grew, and in 1634, when demand increased in France, speculators entered the market. In 1636, a future market was created, and during the Ottoman winter, the prices skyrocketed until the pr pr uh, prices collapsed in February 1637. The result was a bankruptcy of many and economical disaster. This is bad, lose stability, or gain inflation. Lose stability or gain inflation. Either one is bad because it costs us admin points to get rid of. This is the thing. It, it, seems, it seems nowadays the entire game is dominated by admin points. No matter what you do, you will never have enough admin points to get anything done in this game, which is crazy. It's another lose stability. And if we don't choose that, then we get inflation. And what points do you use to get rid of inflation? Admin points. So no matter what we do, we're just fucked on this. Uh, the good news is we actually have really, 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 really good ability to get rid of inflation. So I'm going to take the inflation and I'm just going to let it burn off. Still. Still. To roll, have some relations. Kill him, come back. But yeah, everything revolves around admin points. We lost our explorer ship. Eh, whatever. The coast of Coromandel. Uh, over there. Oh, you know what it is? He arrived and I never sent him back. Psh. God, I'm stupid. Whatever. Uh, where is our colonist? Oh, he arrived. Okay, good. Can now explore from there instead. Neat. The Shia Caliphate is improving relations with us. I wonder why. He's got a couple shitty allies now. Good for him. I, st I don't like that the Sunni Caliphate's allied to Italy. I mean, it's not like they help. They, they never help, but eh. Have we made the cape into a trade company? No. Should we? Is there a point to having trade companies? I've never done them before. Your tech group does not allow for trade companies. Really? My tech group of... Western? My tech group Western does not allow for trade companies. Okay. Mm. I don't know how they work. Create a fleet, colonize Guyana, protect the brethren in Bohemia. Valencia. Oh, Valencia. And Germany's improving relations with us. What the fuck, Germany? Why would you improve relations? Tax it. No, leave it be.
My best guess is we're missing out on some features because this is a converted CK2 game. Cheaper stability cost, thank you so much. So we're currently focused on admin, and we have a level 3 admin advisor. The shitty thing is our king is terrible at admin, so hopefully when he dies, uh, William will... or Willem... will stabilize the admin situation. In the meantime, though, we could probably do some more buildings. Oh wow, Gatingen and Chelly had the same color. Okay. Well, almost. The convert is kind of broken. Well, I'm not surprised. I mean, eh, it really is a patch, isn't it? I mean, it's not a standalone game or anything. So we need, looks like it's going to be three more years before we can annex France. Okay. Even with a gift. That's just too bad. No possible rivals. So we can't set enemy of enemy. Uh oh. Rebels? Catholic zealots? What the fuck? Catholic zealots have sieged a Catholic province in a nation ruled by Catholics. Why? Why are you doing this? You're not Catholic enough! I fucking hate you. You're not Catholic enough. Why don't you go siege up the Sunni or Shia lands, you fucking Catholic zealots? <laughs> what the fuck? Why do they do that? I don't understand. What is happening to my world? Iconoclastic Fury. During the Reformation, outbreaks of destruction of Catholic religious art occurred in various European countries. Okay, the most notorious example is Bildenstorm in the Low Countries, but similar attacks occurred in Germany, Switzerland, England, Scotland, France, and Livonia. The majority of these attacks were carried out by spontaneous mobs, but in some countries, government took a leading role. Send guards to stop these vandals, gain revolt risk everywhere. We can't do anything except weather the storm, lose prestige and taxes, and missionary strength, or lose stability, and cornbread converts to reformed. Probably just take the revolt risk. Lose 50 military power. Well, that's something I have a lot of. Hmm. Okay. Ready for rebels? Rebels? Yeah, rebels. They're gonna happen. They're more likely than you think. However, we do have some free Diplos, so who needs a back rub? Anyone want a back rub? Back rub? Back rub? Anyone? You know what? I guess we can improve relations with Germany. For now. Why is Frank... Why did their cores disappear during that war? I mean, that's exactly what I expected to get out of the war, was to release Franconia. And now we can't, because their fucking cores disappeared during the war. Stupid. And now Cologne's cores are going to go away in six years. So we won't be able to do that, because our truce will last longer than that. Our truce is going to last, yeah, for 12 more years. Okay. I guess we could enforce peace or something? Uh, let's get relations up with Hungary and see if we can't enforce peace. Oh, no, we can't because Germany's not the aggressor. Shit. And we're losing money now, really? We're losing 27 ducats a month? How? What the actual fuck are we losing 27 ducats? Oh, it's because of fucking inflation. Shit, I forgot about that. Uh, well, we're not fighting anyone right now, so... That's one thing that sucks about inflation, is it gives you a lot less income. 
your advisors cost more, your units cost more. Ah. Uh oh, Sweden's going to annex Oldenburg. <laughs> oh, goodbye, Oldenburg. Nice knowing you. Oh, look, rebels. Great, I love rebels. Good thing we have a ton of uh, morale. So not paying him fully doesn't really matter that much. Oh no, our natural scientist died, and we can't replace him either. It's going to be very expensive to replace him. Okay, well. We'll replace him as soon as all this stupid revolt risk shit is gone. Ah, stupid revolt risk. 9.5. How quickly does that go down? Is it 0.1 per month? No, it's 0 .09 per month. So one, it goes down by one per year. So that 10 revolt risk goes down to 9 revolt risk the next year, and then 8 revolt risk, and then 7. So it takes 10 years to fully go away. Damn. The rebel map mode. Sure, there you go. Not that bad. Hmm. Surprised that London and Paris are both green. Especially since London's the wrong religion. Hmm. Fine by me. Lost a claim on Bosnia, don't give a shit. Oh, was that Bosnia? Oh shit, I kind of wanted that. Oh, I still have show superiority, so that's fine. We converted Calais. Good times. Next. We're doing a good job of converting stuff, but there's still a pretty large scroll bar. So I'm glad I get, I'm glad I took religious idea group because it's gonna take some time. It's gonna take some serious time. Hey, spread the reformation. Dragons goes reform. Nice. Hungary will give Muntenia to Byzantium. Okay. And that's it. Wow, what a shitty peace deal. But okay, that's fine. Get out of there. And rebels. Okay. Diplomats, let's move. What reform are we at? We have taken four of them. We're halfway done. Still have a long way to go. Oh, look, rebels. Who would have guessed? Not me. I thought rebels never happened in, in Flanders. We're rebel free. So the shitty thing about Germany being in that war is they probably have positive prestige now. No, but they're almost there. So they're probably not going to lose their union. Damn it. Oh well. Stupid rebels. We're sexy and nationalist. Don't give me that crap. Yay, more conversions. Next up. Oh, man. We're, we're in the four-year zone for converting stuff now. That's a long time. I would prefer it didn't take so long to convert.
Come on. Come on. Comania declared war on Byzantium. Okay, well, there you go. Lost our mirrors with France. Just get it back. And they squished. Yay, Rebel's dead. At least our colonies are almost done. That'll certainly help our income. Alright, come on, Dirk. Do us proud, Dirk. Can we sell the second island? Uh, let's see if they've cored this yet. They have indeed. Okay, yeah, we can sell it. And more rebels. Good. I love rebels. Take him out. They're peasants. They don't get a general, so it should be pretty easy to squish them. Marriages are falling apart. Damn it. Why are they going to fall apart? Can't we all just get along? We can all be married. It's fine. Okay, we finished a colony. Bingo. And we can't sell that because he's currently coring this one, or did he get a free core? Yeah, he did not get a free core. So that's got to be a bug. That's kind of stupid. Because it was working before, now it's not working. Sad Flanders, Noble Rebels. Oh, come on. Noble Rebels. Don't give me that crap. Uh, next up. How weird. Explore? Nah. Unless we really want to. God, we're so far. We're still eight years ahead on military attack. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Relations with Brandenburg, please. You know what, though? We're out of time for this episode today. Thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. France will probably be, in, probably be a next next uh, episode. And we're going to have to keep selling the coastline here to Sad Flanders. He can fill in the colonies in the interior. And he is. He's colonizing the interior, like right here, Acadia. He's doing that. So we don't have to do that. That's nice. Uh, but we will get the coastline to protect it from, from anyone else. And hopefully he can start doing some wars with the Iroquois and Susquehannock, and we can he can call us in and we can give him some hands. But that'll be next time. Thanks for joining me, guys. I've been Chen. You've been you. I'll see you later. Have a good day.